All right, welcome back to Pacific Drive. This is the first episode in a while that wasn't recorded almost immediately after the previous one. All right, so what were we doing? Um, let's see. Right, so we had not actually gone to the wall yet, so I guess that's what's up next. So I guess we want to make sure that we're ready to go. <sighs> uh, the car seems okay. Oh, repair putty. Let me guess. I can't make any, right? That seems to be the theme. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's build a tank. So I don't know. Was the lightning rod working? I mean, I was getting shocked a lot, but I don't know if it was making the battery go up at all. Hmm. Well, I'm going to assume that it was. I'm, I'll am i keep an eye, see if I catch the actual little numbers go up or whatever. Um, yeah. I don't know if we're going to be repairing the car much more. I mean, I guess I could uh, see how much scrap we have. I guess we have the steel sheets. And we can make more. Alright, you know. This is probably important. So let's, uh... Let's see, two doors, or three doors and a panel, huh? Okay. Another door. Cool. Which one is it? All right. Back left. I just feel like a lot of times I'm like, you know what? It'll be fine. And then it ends up the car is basically limping to the edge, end of the level, and I don't know. I just kind of want to actually have a fully repaired car. Okay. Um, and I needed a panel too, right? recycle this all right well it's uh we got like one kind of damage panel how bad is it oh, it'll be fine that'll be okay I think anything that's in in the green well the blue green is fine even if it is darker all right well is that uh does that mean there's an ability that's associated let's see here no 
No, it doesn't seem like there's an ability associated with the, uh, whatever it's called, lightning rod. Um, all right, let's grab some decals and, uh, Actually, you know what? Black stripes, that'll be interesting. Put that. Dragon, all right. the black stripes that's what that looked like okay um let's see black stripes up here too okay I guess, um, beige, blue, crimson. Crimson. Yeah, that looks good of the dragon. It just doesn't really work with the stripes, but well, we'll see how it looks on this. Actually, okay. The real patchwork now. Let's see, I think uh, on this side we'll do. Okay. And then on this side we'll do blue. Now let's, and now that I've thoroughly wasted our time with just doing probably redundant stuff that wasn't super necessary ahead of uh, heading out. Let's get rid of those. And uh, we'll be on our way. Did I set the course? Going to the wall. Which, uh, G3 might be extreme conditions. So hopefully that'll be okay. I promise I'm not gonna keep the car looking like this, by the way. I just think it's a goofy look. Oh, not again. All right, all right, fine. I guess we're not leaving. Let's take a look. Let me double check. Okay, how many quirks are active right now? We we gotta fix this. Okay. So let me think. I need to make sure I know, have the diagnoses here. Cause I've simply turned the car on and the floodlights turn on. Now, is it the car being on that turns them on, or is it the act of turning the car on that turns them on? The car simply being on seems to activate the brake. But maybe it's just an ability in general gets activated. Maybe it's the same thing, it's the same problem. That's just that, okay, the engine's not running, so maybe it's not the 
far being on. Okay. The headlights? It's the headlights, isn't it? Okay. There we go. At least that's my conclusion. Okay. If the headlights stay on, an ability activates. Yes. Got it. Two electricians kit for that. And a mechanics kit and an electrician's kit. Okay, and there's two other quirks that I don't know. Is this one back? No. Okay. Well, we have one electrician's kit. I think I have it back here. Oh, you know what? I spent it. I actually had a mechanics kit, though. Let's get both of these, because the hood one is annoying as well. Yes, please. I don't know what the other two quirks are. Well, whatever they are, they have yet to severely impact me. At least to my knowledge. I don't know. Is that perhaps related to it? Eh, whatever. I didn't even realize I could do... Maybe you're connected to one of the quirks. I don't know. Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, I have... All this bullshit has drained my battery. Hold on. Oh, god damn it. That bumper just got damaged. I wasn't careful. Okay, whatever. Fine. We'll live with it. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. I don't think I ever intentionally turned that on. So. Oh, that's how you control the damn radio. Okay. So I was looking down here. Why is it up there? That's not where radio is. Whatever. Decided to actually look around my car for once. Alright. I guess we're going to take the... Uh the highway, which means we're going to pass through the tunnel again, I assume. We're going to keep an, a lookout for armored components also. be very nice to get, get ourselves a few armored components off of some wrecked vehicles. If the game should provide us with any. up on top of there, but... Stop. 
Nice armored door. Steel bumper. Hey, that's uh, actually good. Looks full health. took anything. What is going, what is he doing? So I just like wasted some of the charges on it. Alright. So it's a damaged armored door, so it's kind of a I'm gonna hold on to the steel door. Oh, I got the tire by accident. doesn't get broken off. It's not in great health. But who knows? Maybe I'll find a, uh... Anything armored? Doesn't really look armored. Oh yeah, maybe I'll find a buddy somewhere or something. like it's moving so sluggish. I wonder if it's the heavier it is with steel and armored, it's, it's the slower it moves. Box truck now, huh? Can I just turn the headlights off? What? Yeah, that was... I think I mixed up 
headlights with uh, wipers. Crude door, crude panel. So much, so much crap. All right. Let me, uh, yeah, load up on players. Probably don't need the jumper. upgraded then if it's if it's really struggling to get us moving with this much armor this is not May oh, maybe I'm just going uphill is that the problem it could be the case Quirk is when you turn the headlights off, the dome lights turn on, I guess. That's what seemed to be happening. Not critical, but... Probably worth a fix. Oh, extreme conditions here? Overcharge electricity. Uh, I feel like... Oh, it's morning, so maybe, maybe I can get away with... Well, I'm gonna keep the, the headlights on for now. I think it did actually charge some. It's a gamble, but if I want to charge the battery up, I can let myself get shocked some more. Whoa! Well, oh. for the first time, I've been bumped into one of those. And that seems to have popped a tire. Good news is. We found more armored components, so let's go address this tire. Ceiling kit. Do we have a ceiling? I do. I have one right on me. Okay. Alright. Now, let's take a look here. All right. Armored door. Armored panel. I think, um... We'll pick a panel. Off-road tire. Just to mix and match.
Again, we're gonna try and hold on to everything. That takes up a lot of space, doesn't it? Okay. Can I make another liberator? I'm betting no. Fair enough. Still, we got two armored components for it. That ain't bad. Break down the others. And, uh... Yeah, oh. I guess for now I can hold on to a spare tire, too. Why not? If I have... Mm, maybe not. There might not be a practical place to shove it. Carrying too many car parts, really. Okay. Hopefully I don't come to a regret... Come to regret these decisions. Just hedging my bets. Alright, so we just want to get through. The, uh, the anchors here are kind of out of the way. And really, we want to get on with the objective. It's been a couple episodes since we've really made some uh, story progress. So I don't want I don't want to linger too long. go around these trees. Oop. Shot the road a bit. There's a tape here, actually. In lieu of direct story progress, the tapes have been cool to get some backstory on Oppie. Be right back. Welcome back. This is Frequency File, Episode 2. In the last episode, I told you about the curious case of Dr. Ophelia Turner. When yep. it comes to this enigmatic individual, one of three versions is true. Myth, martyr, or monster. To be able to weigh her in turns as heretic, genius, or scapegoat, we must first set the stage. And I started down this path to discover who she was, what she did, and ultimately what happened to her. I didn't expect it to lead me to one of the strangest mysteries of the Pacific Northwest, the Olympic Exclusion Zone. But let me you rewind didn't? a bit. In Northwest it Washington seems like a logical State, place there that are would lead. 600 square miles of vibrant wilderness called the Olympic Peninsula. Bounded by water on three sides, it was a wonderland for outdoorsy types, with snow-capped mountains and salmon-bearing rivers and pristine rainforests. Up until 1955, it was the residence of 100,000 people, including Ophelia Turner. It was her birthplace, her hometown, and, it turns out, ground zero and sacrificial lamb for the promise of limb technology. In true fashion, the government never comes out and says that's what led to the creation of the Olympic Exclusion Zone. But the chain of events were in plain sight. Strange accidents, leading to the government's claim of eminent domain and subsequent seizure of the peninsula. The evacuation of 100,000 people and the attempt and abject failure 
at containing the rumors that spread like wildfire. Mm. Because it turns out, even with the government's resources at your disposal, keeping secrets is a tricky business. You can bet there was plenty of talk as a result. Lucky me, because I had plenty of questions. Don't we have a... Oh, yeah, I just looked at the map. The one time that I'm not obsessively looking at the map is when I overshoot like crazy. Oh, come on, dude. Alright. Yeah, there was a turn that I just kind of whiffed. I was distracted by the tape. Must be moving on. My defense that was well, I don't know. I guess it's visible. Okay, let's get that charge up. Hope the car can take it. I don't think I see anything breaking, although maybe the component got damaged. Frankly, I want more electricity. Come on, that barely charged me. Okay. Come on. You can do better than that. Come on, charge up. All right, we're up another notch. Whatever. I think it was actually slowly damaging the car as well, so I'm just gonna take that and as what I get. Oh, that. Wasn't extreme conditions? High instability, okay. Eerie darkness, swift storm, something else. We're just trying to cut through. Only gonna stop if an anchor is right on the main route. And at this point, uh, I guess eerie darkness, I have to use the headlights. That is quite a large anchor. And it's just dead ahead. I'll take it. Wow, bunnies.
All right, we're, we're a little roughed up at this point. We are at a caution sign. Might need to swap out. Maybe just keep the armored components in storage. That might be the smarter play, honestly. I wish I could swap. why I'm doing this. I knew that was going to happen. Get, get, get over there. There. I wanted to make sure that we were going to be able to make it through even if we get a little more damage. It's okay. It's just a straight shot. Just keep going. We may have battery concerns, but I, mean, I don't know. I've got jumper cables. Hopefully that'll be all we need. We have a bumper too that is uh if we if one of our bumpers breaks we can just swap that on oh the storm's not moving that fast anyways i thought it was going to overtake us but it's actually creeping Aw, oh, man. More armored stuff. I don't want to stop, though. Plus, I can't I can't rip the actual components off, so the best I'd do is just be able to scrap it down. And we have a mission. Get through the wall. Access the mid-zone. So I have a theory that we're kind of plateaued on progress until we can access the mid-zone, because... There's three types of energy, and there's three zones. I'm just jump making a logical conclusion. I've only found stable energy so far, and I've only been in the outer zone. So I'm guessing unstable is in the mid zone. There's a way through that I'm supposed to get to. I'm not even supposed to jump. Whoa, okay. It says I still need to charge. I'm gonna grab, we're gonna pass by a couple um, anchors. I don't think it'd be bad if I picked one up shortly.
Maybe top up on some gas, since there's a gas station here. Yeah. ourselves a look around. A lot of canned food. Oh, you're too kind. Now, I'm tempted on repairing the armor, but right now I think it makes more sense to get general repairs, get the general health of the vehicle up. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. So let's see, we need this panel here. Front bumper. Um. Front right. This panel as well. Now oh, that back fender is actually in pretty rough shape. Yeah, I'm gonna spend it all before we have armor to worry about. We'll do the bumper. It's, uh, it's for the best. Did I just break the seat? Oh, my God. Okay. Fine. I broke the back door. Cracked the window or something, right? Well, no dice. Just gonna have to live with it. There's green, which generally means objective. Don't need more energy. At least not to escape. Maybe there's a few things that could take stable energy for research, but... You know what? I think when you pick up the anchors, it increases the instability in the area. Uh, I don't think we really need that right now. 
There's the expansion wall. It separates the outer zone from the mid zone, and more importantly, us from those two idiots. This will get you one step closer to the deep zone. It's far past its prime, so watch your step. Okay. So far, so good. I guess I want to go the other way, honestly. Yeah. Boy, that floodlight really rips up the battery, doesn't it? I think the ambient red light's enough to guide my way. Hopefully. I do hope I'm going the right way. That's... No, I can't go that way. I need to go left. At some point. No. Oh, shit. No. Sorry, car. I hope that doesn't damage it. getting zapped. Alright, well, whatever. Oh! There we go. That's a little bit of my battery back. A lot.
Where the hell am I? This is not the road. Okay, that's promising. to drive that every time I want kind of come in here, am I? That's kind of annoying. Okay, I guess we're just going, huh? Is there a garage here, I wonder? Because I have a lot of stuff stored at the other one. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Hello, friend. Welcome to our side of the wall. Oh, what's this? Your connection to Wampy is jam. Oh. Uh, worry not. Our signal is crystal clear. Let's see how it is. Right. Ask me if I care. Yeah, and the mid zone's been marinated in all this radiation for so long. Things don't work the same as they do in the outer zone. But the good news is, we live here. We can help you, no sweat. <clears throat> first things first, we've got to extend the signal from the garage. Otherwise, Avi's equipment won't be much help. Hooking you into a mid zone stabilizer should do the trick. Look around. You should be able to see one up a hill somewhere. Yeah, I'm, I kind of feel like driving into the water. Not, not a good move. Giant orb. Right. You're playing your little political games with Oppie. I'm not about to drown the car. Okay. Roads flooded. Let's hope it's not too bad. Excuse me? Oh. 
guess the radio doesn't take up power, apparently. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow the roads. Get to the dirt road that goes up there. Wait, what is that doing? Oh, that wasn't just gas. That was that was something else. It's like acid or something. Noted. Won't do that anymore. In fact, that back door is just toast. Did I not just put it in the park? Get in park. Where's the door? If I'm gonna have a broken door, I might as well have it be armored. Section D is online. Coming through loud and clear. Hey, Francis, pan the car's broadcast frequency to the stabilizer, would you? Hey, come on, I can't do this without you. Fine. There. Your receiver's hooked in now. And we're patched into all that sweet arc device data. <laughs> nice work. Oppy won't be able to block us out anymore. But better get going. Here it comes. Guess we're going to see what a storm's like in the mid zone. Wish I had an opportunity to try and scrap what I assume is unstable energy, but. Uh. Pretty acid. Oh, we're at caution now. That's an ideal. What? But carrying my car door. And Francis is the one that was able to set that up because he is also one of the scientists. So, wow. Oppie was hiding a magic teleporter? We could have been beaming all over the zone this whole time? <laughs> and don't worry, I'll restore her connection once you do us a little favor. Oh, yeah. I suspect Oppie's hiding a copy of Otis' database in that auto shop of hers. 
find it, and we can get back to this remnant business. All right, I've I've identified the electrical circuit for the garage's security system. And there's an auto security lock in that circuit. So once I do this. Oh. Yeah, bingo. The yeah, scrap car upgraded. Now. Try that overload code from the observation towers. 4735. <laughs> Unlock the bathroom. What? What bathroom? Boy, oh boy. Look at all these gizmos in here. Our beer wasn't operating no normal auto shop. A fabrication station. Ooh, a personal vault? I bet there's some good stuff in there. I I'm uncomfortable intruding like this. Uh, can you not? Hold the phone. There's a machine that prints bobbleheads? What? <gasps> Show me. Driver, something you should know about that database? When Arda's funding began oh. to dry up, they handed us our final paycheck with one hand, and the same day evacuation orders with the other. Oppy was a higher up, though more entitled than an actual power by that time. She would have known about Arda's plan to close up shop and had enough time to download all the research data before losing access. That data could contain what we need to help you. All right. Oh, you did it! Hey, you actually did it! Oh, boy, Audi, I cannot wait to dig through all this data. As promised, I'll fix Oppie's connection. Do you read me? Come in. Do you read me? Loud and clear, you old bat. I see. The comms clear up suddenly, and I find you two patched to the garage frequency. <laughs> it all makes sense now. No idea what you're talking about. So, Oppie, what's the, uh, what's the plan? You must have some grand scheme, don't you? Let me get this straight. You hijacked my mission, tapped into my frequency, and now you want to be all buddy-buddy. Not on your life. You think you're hot stuff. Why don't you take the lead, then? Get the driver through all by your damn selves. Did she just hang up on us? Well, guess it's our time to shine. <laughs> so, uh, Francis, you got any ideas? Well, we know the driver needs to get to the deep zone, but it's too dangerous to head there directly. We have to zero in on exactly where to go. The signal amplification trick won't work here. The ambient instability is too strong in the mid-zone. Huh, how indeed. Um, there was one other time where the mass hallucination and the remnants intersected. Drive, I've tagged a route for you. Whenever you're ready, give it a spin. Well, this is going to come in handy, I think. trunk arc dock is that mm -mm. that mean I could get a second vehicle oh the door get broken off hmm well I guess I made the wrong judgment call there I lost an armored component
Actually, I've been putting these in here. Okay. I can read those at some point. I want to go back to the normal steering wheel. Okay. I have some repairs to do. So what did we think it was when the when the headlight switches off, the dome light switches ogles. Light replacement kit. Okay. It's not a critical issue, but... Oh, did I only make like a bulb or something and then make the actual kit itself? Yeah. I don't have enough thermosap crystals for the lib another liberator, unfortunately. And now I need the chemicals. It's one putty, and then, uh, honestly, I'm not gonna repair the hood, I'm just gonna replace the hood. Actually, it doesn't matter. The putty's a full repair. Well, let's go as far as the putty will go, and then we'll replace what can't be covered by it. The star probably means it has some special quality, but honestly, because I know armored's coming,
Yeah, that doesn't need to be in here. Okay. So I need, uh... Three doors and two panels. Two panels and a bumper. I kind of like how much you have to tinker with the car. Like, you can feel like you're still making material progress, even if you end up, like, losing parts and having to replace them all the time because of the research and like gathering the materials for everything. I feel like other games like this, you end up having the case where like, oh, well now it's super durable. You don't have to mess with it and touch it anymore. But every time you got to work on the car, you got to say, take some time and actually like rebuild it, tweak it, modify it. It is a core part of the game, and you can't ignore it. Or there will be consequences. Okay, is that everything? All right, it's in pretty good shape. Maybe it's time for a paint job, I'm not sure. Let's go all in on this animal strips. Let's see how it looks. Stripes. Well. You know what? I think this, that should just about do it. Now we paint it. We do have a light blue. It's a little too light, but whatever. I think it'll still look good. Wait, did I just, did I just paint the interior? Didn't realize I could. I don't know. Maybe I did her. I'm not sure. Okay, that part still needs a decal.
Apparently I have a thermosap crystal on me. For some reason. Okay. Uh, well, we're back to all steel for the time being. Well, actually, we do have this armored panel on a steel bumper. I didn't repair it, though, so... We'll just go on storage. fuel up. I haven't even looked at the map to see what Tobias's marker is at. Okay. Um... Yeah, chemicals... Stable. The addition of a sorting system will take your tidy present into a more organized future. The transfer trunk will be filled with collected items before being deposited. What? Have I been using the trunk wrong or something? I don't... I don't know. I guess I might as well learn how to make a flare gun. Limb pulse emitter. Okay, it gets... Hold on to or harm the vehicle. It replaces a bumper. Okay. seem silly, but I kind of actually want the auto parker. Nothing due with aerodynamics and everything due with brute force. Jackhammer-like power will make your car airborne for a brief moment, but be aware that this is not designed with consideration for either comfort or safety. I'll research it just to make progress. Hmm. 
basically just deals with bunnies. Thing is, I have to sacrifice a bumper. Okay, where does this go? So mounts on the bumper, maybe? No, I think it does indeed require. How does it look on the back? Let's see about that. I feel like the front bumper is too important because I have to like break through things all the time and figure the bumper is helping to absorb that below. can we re can we learn something new athletic simulation station this is a basketball hoop much of an arm do I <laughs> anyway let's take a look at the map actually eh, we can at least uh, figure out what they want so do I really have to go make that entire trek six hours Wow you really have to make some trips later in the game, don't you? <laughs> Maybe the antenna upgrades lets me find faster route roads in, but... Oh, okay, there, I see actually there's, uh... There's some places. There's, there's some other ways to the wall, apparently. That'd be nice. Oh, it looks like there is even a road here. Then how come I had to go through the, through G2? That was such a pain. I mean, I'm not complaining like I could to skip it, but... Whatever. Maybe we were able to open up routes now that I was able to get through or something. Who knows? Oh yeah, the uh This thing is probably a little little beat up. Eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hack repair putty. Yeah, never I never have the repair putty to spend on that. I wish. Okay. Um Yeah. Charge up, and I guess we'll save it here. Maybe this one's a little shorter than some of the last episodes, but... 
I don't know if I should like launch off or uh, I guess we could we could start going. It's a we do have a number of stops to get through, so I don't know what that noise was. Probably that little thing in the set in the corner. How was I in drive that whole time? Okay. It's a shame that we can't uh, make another liberator, because that would have been nice. But we're going through the other way now, huh? Okay. Sure, we'll pretend that makes sense. You know what? I didn't take any opportunities to try and find chemicals. I'm going to do that now. Because this is... However long until I decide this episode is... Over, so... We need... Some... Stuff. Impact hammer. Need impact hammer. Hey driver. Sorry about all that mess with Oppie. I don't have Th the There's no question. One. Oppie is a, is a, a once-in-a-generation genius. I, I've watched her manipulate wavelengths with nanometer precision without batting an eye. <laughs> so, yeah, to see her go from being the sharpest person in the room to what she is now is Fuck. disappointing. This place, it leeches away your sanity day by day. So for, for Oppie to live here in complete isolation, locked away with only bad memories and expired medication, nothing good comes of that. I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I knew why she suddenly cares so much about the remnants. I have a theory. I think she knows more about them than she's letting on. I think they're tied to people who have died. And I think she's looking for her husband. Oh, there's been no, no wrecks to, okay. Want to get a few raw resources, raw materials. Speaking of Oppy, you're not gonna like this, Francis, but I'm starting to think we can't do this alone. Look, it's not that I doubt our abilities, but no one knows the zone like that old man. You heard what she said? She'll sabotage this remnant before helping us. Right. Well, she'll come around to our charms. No, she won't. Nothing in the 13 years we spent in R&D proved that she's open to working with anyone. She dug her heels in so deep that she wrestled everyone down into the grave with her. I... I can't be involved if she is. Mm. What are you talking about? This is the entire reason we stayed behind, to write the record of the zone. Not about the experiments and the technology, but to tell the legends of the land. I don't want anything to do with her. I, I don't want to talk to her. I, I don't want her advice. I, I, I don't want to hear her goddamn voice. This isn't like you. What's going on, Francis? Is there something I should know? No. <sighs> all your work in Lim R&D, all the time you spent, your entire career, your entire life, you sacrificed it all for honor, and how did they thank you? A black hole in your resume when you can't tell anyone what you did. You couldn't even tell people where you wiped your ass for 10 years. So no, I I'm not letting this go. Not for me, but especially not for you. That, 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 that's not... Never mind. 
You know, sometimes I wonder how much of your stay here was actually to hunt these legends. Or if it was because you had nowhere else to go. I think all these decades with no one to talk to but each other, they'd eventually, you know, talk about the things they're keeping to themselves at some point. Out of boredom, they'd be driven to be closer together, but no, apparently not. I'm mainly just doing the scrapping so that I have the resources to make, make some tools. I did not realize how much I messed up by not having the tools I would need taken care of. afford to at least make another scrapper. Is the impact hammer gonna take? Why am I okay? There we go. Gas cylinder. Okay. Well, unless we pass a box truck. go. Granted, it's also not exactly clear when the game is set. Wow. Yeah, anchor party, you don't say. Yeah. 
So wait, if I'm gonna need stable energy to open the gates, does that mean I have to get it out here before I go into the mid zone? Wait, that's, that doesn't look right. Come on. That's red. Unstable anchor. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just that now that we've accessed the mid zone. But I will take that happily. a lot. Asshole. I can't. I my tire is busted. I have to fix it. Healing kit. Oh, don't fuck me right now. I feel like my auto parker has just not been doing anything. to abound things. time to do any more troubleshooting though. The Otter Parker just uh, I don't know, it's just not working. Who cares? There's a tape here, but... 
Oh well. Honestly, the storm's not even moving that fast. This is probably a good time to cut the episode and start the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Later.